Hey, welcome back to the Complex Entertainment Group. Discuss music, tech, business, and life. So today I'm talking about the iPhone 15. Let's check this thing out. All right, so last week Apple released the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro. This is a closer, us taking a closer look at the actual iPhone 15 Pro. So as I spin this thing around, first to the back, again, we got the the nice three updated camera sensors, camera lenses, updated camera with the light, regular iPhone screen here, no button in the below, that's been gone for a little bit of time, plus this new island here, which is supposedly smart now, so that if you click on it or long press it, it gives you a bunch of other options. The regular button on the side that, you know, turns on the screen, like the device, volume rocker, and the new redesign action button. Nice, nice, nice. And this is in, it's all wrapped in a nice titanium casing with USB-C. Do appreciate that. What are some of the other features as we scroll down on this? Again, we said forged in titanium. Got the A17 Pro chip, a monster win for gaming. I'm not a heavy gamer on my phone, but I do have games that I play from time to time, but they're not very like graphic intensive, but I still like to have a lot of power under the hood on any device that I use. Pro Glass GPU with six cores, cool. No problem with that. 48 megapixel main camera. The zoom on this is pretty good. Okay. 120, 120 millimeters, new 5X telephoto. 48 megapixel front main camera. Nice. I am excited about the spatial video ability. You can record spatial videos on the phone itself. That's gonna be a nice compliment to the Vision Pro once that comes out. Okay, let's scroll back up here. iPhone 15, 15 Pro. The 15 Pro is definitely loaded with a lot of features. I particularly like this USB-C which from what I've heard, it's um, a faster connection rate on the Pro versus the 15, and also the action button on the 15. But with all of these new things, I will have to say almost, almost convinced me to get the newest iPhone 15. And I probably would have gotten the Pro, except for one thing. One thing here. This right here. This is the iPhone 8. As a matter of fact, I think it's the iPhone 8 Max, I want to say. Because it's the, the, larger, the larger version or the larger screen. But anyways, this still has Touch ID. And I have been holding out because I do not want to lose Touch ID. And I suspect that there are others out there like me as well who really find the Touch feature as a major convenience, but also something that's holding them back from upgrading to some of these newer phones. I mean, I, I, I know that there's Face ID, but I really don't want to use that. I, I'm not a, a Face ID type of guy. Touch ID, oh yeah. I mean, I use that. It, it, I can just easily just use my thumb real quick and unlock my phone or all any apps I have tied to this. But to just... I, I don't know. I just, it's not my thing. I don't prefer to use that method. 
And what I see here is I switch back to this iPhone 15 Pro here was, you know, since Apple went ahead and redesigned the mute switch into an action button, this was their opportunity to give us touch users back touch functionality. Or even if you didn't want to repurpose or add it as a customizable feature within the action button, you could have even put it back here on the side where you have to push this button to turn back on the display. Now, you can't tell me that Apple is not able to do this. They've already proven that they can. They proved it with this guy. Yeah, okay, you can see it. What is this? This. This. iPad mini. Again, here, there's no home button at the bottom. But what did they do? They gave us touch ID right here at the top. With this little button, I have all my touch features. I can just touch it, unlocks it. Bam. Ah, that's what I like. The other thing, Apple also pushed out the new OS today, the iOS 17. My phone doesn't even see it. The iPhone 8 and older, nah, it's not happening. Oh, okay, just making sure the phone is in on screen. It's not happening here. It's not even compatible. So now my phone is really kind of you know, out in the ocean starting to drown with no life preserver and Apple's not even throwing me a lifeline anymore. And I, okay, I get it. You're not going to continue Apple to support all the phones forever. But for us folks out here who enjoy the touch functionality, please bring it back. Bring it back. And I, for one, will then switch over. And here's the thing. We know Apple is able to do this. There's been features in the past that we've seen on other devices like like the, the MacBook Pro. They brought back MagSafe. They, they brought back the card reader. And what happened? Everybody cheered. And the sales for the MacBook Pro went back up. Apple, if you bring back the touch, I'm sure a lot of folks would be very appreciative. You almost had it here. With this very nice looking iPhone 15 Pro. But you, you missed the opportunity. Either with that action button. Or just this button here that turns back on the display. To give us touch. I hope that by iPhone 16. You find some way to reincorporate it. I, I mean I heard rumors before that you're going to try to put the touch under the screen. You don't even have to do that. Just, you don't, but just give me one of these buttons that puts a touch sensor back in there. I'm all good. But so that's it for this video. Just displaying or discussing, you know, my feelings on the new iPhone 15 and the Pro. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be one of those that's going to be grabbing it. I'm holding out for another year, hoping that I, that Apple, excuse me, gives us back touch functionality on the phone. But like, leave a comment below. Let me know which phone you're on, whether you're on an older version of the iPhone, you might be on Android. Well, did the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15 Pro do it for you? Are you switching or are you holding back? Is there something that you were hoping for with this latest phone that Apple just didn't give to you? And again, they're really nice phones. I even like this new titanium framing, but I can't, I can't switch without touch.
If you enjoy this content and some of the things that I do on this channel, make sure you subscribe for the next one. Until next time, peace. Yes. Complex.